Hello boys and girls, welcome back to our very own Reading Corner. So today we're reading a book called Independence Day because Independence Day is coming up for me. Independence Day is a holiday in the United States. It is a federal holiday. On Independence Day, people celebrate the anniversary of the day of the United States claimed independence from Britain in July 4th, 1776. On Independence Day, people celebrate the history of the United States. It is a day to feel patriotic or proud of our country. People celebrate in many ways. In the 1700s, Great Britain ruled the eastern part of the present-day United States. Back then, the United States was made up of 13 British colonies. A colony is an area of land that is ruled by a faraway country. Britain ruled the 13 colonies. The people living in the colonies wanted independence from Great Britain. The Revolutionary War broke out in 1775 between the colonists and Great Britain. The two groups fought many battles. The colonists won after several years of war. Another fact is that one of the first wars was like the Battle of Lexington and Concord. Declaration of Independence Before the war ended, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. This document said that the 13 colonies no longer want to be part of Great Britain. They want to be their own country with independent states. The colonies agreed to the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. Each colony had representatives sign the document. Visit the U.S. Archives at www.archives.gov to read some of the Declaration of Independence. Ask an adult to help you. Early Celebrations Boston, Massachusetts held the first Independence Day celebration in 1783. This Independence Day celebration included military parades, the firing of cannons, and people reading the Declaration out loud. Early celebrations in Philadelphia included special dinners, speeches, parades, and music. Sailors covered ships in red, white, and blue decorations. In Bristol, Rhode Island, soldiers fired 13 guns, one gun for each of the 13 colonies. Making Speeches Today, many people, include politicians, make speeches on Independence Day. They talk about the history of the United States. Politicians discuss how to make the country better. They often meet with people and answer questions. Many of the speakers on Independence Day talk about equality and freedom. Speaking about these topics has been in a tradition since the time of the American Revolution. People listen to the speeches and think about what is being said. Decorations Many people decorate their homes, schools, and offices to get ready for Independence Day. The decorations for this holiday are always red, white, and blue. Streamers, American flags, balloons, and bunting cover buildings and homes. Some people dress up as colonists on Independence Day. Others dress up as soldiers who fought in the Revolutionary War. Dressing up helps remind people of those who fought for country's freedom. The American flag. Many people fly the American flag on Independence Day. It is a symbol of freedom and liberty. A symbol is something that stands for something else. On Independence Day, some people wear t-shirts and hats displaying American flags. The government adopted the American flag on June 14, 1777. Oh, you're lucky if you were born on June 14. It had 13 horizontal stripes and 13 stars to represent the 13 colonies. Today, the flag has 50 stars to represent the 50 states. The American flag is sometimes called the Star Springled Banner. That's actually its name, Star, Star Springled Banner. Picnics. Many people have picnics and barbecues with family and friends to celebrate this holiday. Foods that are popular on Independence Day include hamburgers, hot dogs, potato salad, and corn on the cob. 
it is the perfect holiday for eating outside. The weather is usually hot on Independence Day. Eating red, white, and blue popsicles can help you stay cool on a warm Independence Day. Popular desserts also include apple and cherry pies. Parades. Many cities have parades on Independence Day. There are many floats and bands in the parades. Adults and children march in the parades. Soldiers sometimes march as well. Washington, D.C. holds the National Independence Day Parade, one of the biggest and best parades in the United States. Hundreds of thousands of people watch the floats, marching bands, hoses, giant balloons, and famous people go by. Songs and music. Some people celebrate Independence Day with music. Independence Day songs help people feel patriotic. A composer named John Philip Sousa wrote the music for the Star Spangled Banner, which is the national anthem of the United States. People sing the national anthem on Independence Day. Music helps people remember the importance of Independence Day. God bless America. America is beautiful in the Stars and Stripes Forever are popular Independence Day songs. Baseball Some people spend Independence Day playing or watching baseball. Baseball is sometimes called Americans' national pastime. Major League Baseball schedules every team to play on July 4th. The audience watches fireworks after the game. Baseball became popular after the Civil War. Today, it is one of the most wildly played sports in the United States. Playing baseball has become an Independence Day tradition. Fireworks! Finally, fireworks! In the evening, many people watch colorful fireworks explode in the sky. The fireworks sometimes explode in time to music. The shows last for several minutes. Independence Day is a great day to show off dazzling fireworks displays. New York, Chicago, San Diego, Boston, Washington, and St. Louis are cities that hold huge firework displays. One of the largest displays takes place over the Detroit River to celebrate Independence Day in the United States and Canada in Canada. I actually made a book on Canada Day so you guys can check that out also. It will be the link in the description. Take a trip! Taking a trip is another way to celebrate Independence Day. A popular place to visit is Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Oh, my brothers learned this. It has the faces of four presidents carved in it. The National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. is another interesting place to come and visit on Independence Day. You can visit the Declaration of Independence in person. It is one of the National Archives' greatest treasures. Learn more. Learn more about the Declaration of Independence and the events that took place during its creation. Share the information with your family and friends and teach them why Independence Day is so important. Make an Independence Day crossword puzzle or quiz to give to your family and friends. Make a red, white, and blue prize for the person who gets the most correct answers. Visit www.nps.gov slash pub underscore AFF slash INDE slash events dot htm and look for Independence Day events near you. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and subscribe if you guys want more of these videos. And guys, I have two questions for you guys. So the first question is, why do like the American page or like, um, all the people wear red, white, and blue. What What is the reason for wearing those colors on Independence Day? My second thing is, what are some things you guys might do to celebrate Independence Day? Give me at least, at least two examples. If you guys want two, you guys can, of course, do more than that. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and subscribe if you guys want more of these videos. And I'll see you guys next time.